Hello, my crafty friends. Well, I probably won't stay on very long. I didn't realize that um, that Becky was going to be streaming this afternoon. So I'm probably just going to stream on a few minutes and play a little bit. And then um, everybody can go watch her. I think if I, if I saw the uh, message right, she's streaming at 3.30 Eastern time, which would be um, in about 30 minutes. So, so I'm just going to play for 30 minutes and then I'll get off. Um, I got this really big old dictionary at the thrift store and it's really ugly, but it has really beautiful paper. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to see how I can do uh, jelly printing on it. I did a test piece just to make sure it wasn't going to, you know, tear off on my um, stick to the plate and it didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and do some playing then. And I'm going to use this little plate so I can do a bunch of um, overlapping stuff uh, just for kicks. And I'm just going to um, pull off a few pages. And I haven't tried to... That one I tore out earlier from the back of the book was fine. But yeah, these are coming out okay. So... Got a couple people watching, but nobody's talking. <laughs> That's okay if you don't want to talk. I'm just used to people chatting. Oh, there's Barbara. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Um, I did one page, Barbara, and it did okay. But I think the key is to do it quick. And that's why I decided to use my little jelly plate. Because I can just put stuff on and pull it off real quick. Hi, Sharon. So I'm going to I'm gonna play with it some today. And we'll see. I'm going to take pages that are um, not part of the uh, what should I say? They're not the actual dictionary. They're the supplementary pages, I guess you would say. And that's what we're going to work on today. Um, I think I'm going to do a series on the Thursdays while Tanya is gone of doing stuff with these dictionary pages. So it may be jelly printing, but I'm going to do other things too. So we're just going to do jelly printing today. So I'm doing good, Barbara. I'm doing good. I had a really, really busy yesterday, and so I was really tired <laughs> yesterday evening, but um, but I'm doing good. So I'm glad to see y'all all coming in. Hi, Cheryl and Mina and Teresa and Jacqueline. It's good to see you. I'm just going to be playing on these. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I was getting all ready, and then I found out that um, Becky was streaming, and so I almost didn't come on at all. But I had said I was going to, and so I decided to at least come on for a little bit. Um, but I know a lot of y'all are watching that project Becky's working on, and I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to have to go back and forth. You know, want you to have to go back and forth. You can just go over there in a few minutes. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to let this piece be my roll-off paper for right now. So, just lurking and working. Okay. Hi, Mindy. I'm glad you're here. Mina. I'm not sure if I said hi to Mina or not, but I'm glad you're here, Mina. One thing I like about this little plate is that I can just, I can turn it and I can do whatever I want to on it. I don't have to, it doesn't take up so much space. Um, right now I'm just going to be kind of putting um, some background on and then, oh good. Well, I'm happy to say hi more than once. Just putting some background stuff on. This is pretty clear. So, um. Chilling and grilling. All right. Well, I didn't get to watch um, Becky's uh, sewing stream yesterday. So 
I um, will be interested to see what she's doing. I didn't even go over and watch the replay yet. But I will eventually. Hi, Riri. Okay, I'm going to do another another color. Let's see. I'm trying to see what color that what colors I have out here. Yeah, five by seven is um, it's a good size. I enjoy it. It was definitely um, a good supplement to the big one that I have. I love that big one, but sometimes sometimes you just don't want to go to the effort of the big one. And as much fun as it is, you just, you know, want something else. So, you'd rather watch jelly printing. Okay. She's making it into a tote. All right. Well, that'll be fun. Well, if, if y'all want to, you know, go back and forth or whatever, I'll stay on longer. I just didn't want, um, didn't want people to you know, feel like they had to choose or anything like that. So, yeah, I like that six by 12 plate, Barbara. I'm, I'm interested in that, but right now I'm, I'm okay with what I have. And I'm just going to use some of this pearl cause it won't really, I don't think it'll, um, cover up the other colors but it will put something on that spot right there so jelly it is okay <laughs> hi Angie I'm glad you're here I think that one that Barbara has um, is a Dina Wakely. Is that right, Barbara? I'm not 100% sure, but there's a nice background. So we're going to let that dry and work on another one with some different colors. Um, okay. I've got paints trying to fall everywhere over here. So I'm trying to get some out and it was knocking some others over oh you're jellying in the background cool Sharon hi Riri I, I think I said hello to you but just in case I didn't I I don't want to miss you So far, it's not trying to stick on me, which is what I was worried about. So it's kind of slick paper. It's not as um, it's not as uh, I don't know dry as some papers are. So. Oops. I don't know why it bugs me when they fall down, but it does. Probably shouldn't because it um, it doesn't really hurt anything for them to fall down. But anyway. Delusions. Okay, sorry. It's a delusions gel printing plate I like that I can still see some stuff behind it um, which is one of the fun things it's like you have a almost a background already 
but I still like to have some sort of background when I'm printing. So, so we're just going to make a few backgrounds and then we'll come back and put some stuff on the backgrounds. Make another background over here. <laughs> it's five and a half by 11. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's still a nice size. Okay, got this little bit, <laughs> little bit, and I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to just do a little bit of this and This one is five by seven. Five by seven, which is nice. And let me show you the thing I like about it. If I can find a plain old piece of paper, surely I've got one. This may be, let's just measure one of these first and see, because it might be the same size as a regular piece of paper. Let's see. Well, this is just slightly narrower this direction than a regular sheet of paper, but it's the same size this way. So, um, so I'm going to show you this. Hi, Becky. When you, if you do it like this, you get uh, it framed on there. Of course, you have to be able to center it, and I'm not that good about that. But let's just do it a, a little bit and so you can see. So if you're working on a journal that's, you know, made out of regular size papers, then um, then this will work there. Becky likes the small plates too, yeah. Oh, I love my big one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take anything away from it but th there are definitely times when um when i really like this small one instead hi melissa i'm glad you're here So see, it'll sit, and I didn't center it correctly, but it'll sit right in the middle of a of a journal spread. So you can just do a, a background page or whatever um, like this. So I do too, Becky. She does a great job of that. I don't have space to put my little ones beside my big ones very, very well. Um, if I didn't use any wipe off paper, I could set it there, and and I have tried that before. And it worked okay, but um, but it still was not, um, you know, I, I just haven't gotten used to doing it. Yeah. I, I have some really weird little ones that I cut out of a big one that had the top surface messed up. And so I just cut it into little shapes. Um. I don't even remember exactly what those shapes are at the moment, but but I did I cut it into smaller shapes, and that one's kind of fun to use too. But it's already got this texture on it um, at the very beginning, just from from that. But this is a good size to use like this if you want to, you know, do journal pages. Um, So, which is fun.
I got some new toys that um, I wanted to play with, but they probably will. Well, they might not. I was going to say they'll probably work better on the bigger jelly plate. But let's, um, well, let me do a few more backgrounds and then we'll, okay, let's do this. Oops, missed a spot. Miss that spot. <laughs> okay. Well, I mostly filled that up now. Hi, Christy. I'm glad you're here. And... Um, let me get some other colors. It's, it's so funny. I just put all these up this morning so I could make a couple of videos. Now I'm having to pull them all back out. <laughs> um. This is a really pale blue. It's um, Martha Stewart satin. Um, well, I don't see the color, but I don't want to leave this sitting there long enough that I end up messing it up. But it works pretty good to pull off darker colors. Okay, let's see. What is it? Sea lavender, it says. It is not even close to lavender. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> hi, Tanya. Tanya was telling me all the things that she did yesterday and made me exhausted. I thought I was busy, but I wasn't as busy as Tanya. <laughs> and she's busy again today. So she can't play on here with me, but she said she'd pop in. So I'm glad you're here for a few minutes. Taking a little break. All right. It does look like a Robin's Egg color. You're right, Angie. Oh, I covered up. I didn't mean to cover up that much of it. I stuck the wrong side down. Well, um, that's what happens. Let's do a little bit of this. <laughs> I didn't put any, um, what do you call that stuff? The gripper stuff underneath this that I usually put under it when I'm, when I'm working on this plate and I didn't do that. See, there's part of her list. <laughs> part of her list. Okay. And I wanted to do a little bit. Okay, first I'm just going to. Oh, 
roll this down and then I'm going to add some of this blue. She gets to get out six new bottles. Hey, Brittany. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So there's that. So we're, we got a few backgrounds going here. Let me grab a couple of other colors. And I put, um, let's stick a little bit of this light blue in with these pinks. Just a little bit. We'll see what it does. It almost looks like I put white in there with it. But that's all right. Tanya, you weren't here, well, and a lot of people weren't here when I said it first, but on the Thursdays while you're gone, I'm going to do um, stuff with dictionary pages. I don't know what all, but I'm going to come up with some things to do with dictionary pages. I think it'll be a fun series. I've got this big dictionary. Might as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the blue. I wanted to, um, to play with. So I thought this would be a good time to play with it. Um, I was trying to decide whether to do it on videos or live streams. And then I thought, well, I need something to do when Tanya's not here. So, so well, that's what we're going to do. More fun with company. It is more fun with company. I agree. I agree. Alrighty. We got a little bit there. Let's see. What can I put in behind that? I think I'm going to add a little bit of this to it. Oh, got a notification always gets in the way. and we'll talk to you. Okay. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Hi, Deborah. I'm glad you're here. I'm just playing with dictionary pages and my jelly plate. Which is, um, I'm not going to jelly plate every Thursday, but while Tanya's gone, I need, I need to amuse myself somehow. So, <laughs> so I'm going to come on and play with dictionary pages. Um, I may be letting this one get too wet at putting on all these coats. I don't know. 
Okay, one more. Deborah's doing painty papers. Yay! Okay, Dana. We will do that. Um, we will do that. Uh, I think I'm going to add a little bit of lavender to this. And we'll see what that does. Oops, knocked it over again. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. That turned out pretty. Brittany says, I saw one picture of a painted bike wheel earlier and it inspired me to search for an old used bike. I found one I'm going to pick up later and that's going to be my next abstract painting project. Wow, cool. I can't wait to see that. I think I am kind of in a spring mood. I am. I did all those darker colors um, when we were working in that book, and <laughs> I want something else. But I'm I am in a mix up, mix things up kind of mood, so. I'm trying really hard not to put too much paint on here. And so far, I'm kind of proud of myself. I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good. Could make boho beads out of dictionary papers. That is probably true, Dana. That is probably true. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty. Outline history of the English language. We just covered it up. Okay, let's just use this color with some other colors this time. I do too. I like the purples that come from pink and blue. Sorry, it got, there was a, a goopy piece on it. you to say that <laughs> I didn't want you to say that that's funny okay she wasn't saying anything bad YouTube okay let's do a little bit of this and this one. Probably because you actually said middle finger and they can't, that, you know, that means things that you didn't mean for it to mean to people. That's my guess anyway. It's sad when there's so much bad stuff going on that you can say something perfectly innocent and it gets tagged. <laughs> I 
No, it was YouTube. It wasn't me. I even put it up. So YouTube said, you don't want to show this, do you? I was like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, there's my a dry off paper that's also made a good background. And this one now has different shades, but all with that turquoise as part of them. And I think I'm going to use it again with purple. Let's see how that does. I don't know. Yes. Hi, Deanie. I'm glad you're here. Okay. I'm sorry. I got another one of those comment things that gets in the way. Gets in the way. No, I need another roll off paper. Hi, Andrea. I'm glad you're here. No, it doesn't. The AI doesn't read well. It just looks for keywords and blocks you because of those keywords. Okay. Um, do y'all want me to keep going? Or would everybody like to um, to not try to flip back and forth and just go on over to Becky's channel? I don't mind keeping going, but I sure don't mind stopping either. Oh, they, it just come, pops up, Angie, and says, do I show this or hide it? And it gives you an option. And it doesn't show it until I allow it to show it. And so I did show it because it wasn't anything objectionable. Now, sometimes they just go ahead and stop. I mean, they just go ahead and dump it, and I don't have a choice. But sometimes they give me a choice. So, okay. Well, I just... um. I know you can't, there's no time you can stream when someone else isn't streaming. That That's just the way it is. But, um, but I hate to stream, um, when Becky's streaming. Cause I like, I like to watch her, but of course we can watch the replay, but still. Okay. This looks like an Easter egg here. I don't know why I wanted to do Easter egg, but anyway. Well, I, th I think she was on here just till she was ready to stream. I don't know. That's my guess. Don't make you change channels. Okay, I'm not going to make anybody change channels. I just was volunteering to change channels if y'all wanted to. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this one and some copper and some of this blue it, because it's close to Easter. Maybe so. Oh, get that out of the way. Now it's stuck to my finger. Okay. She's, Tanya's still getting ready to leave. They're not leaving yet. She's just got a lot to do to get ready to leave. I think they're planning to leave home on the 16th. Unless something's changed. Me too, but old paper doesn't always love being printed on, so I got lucky with this one. It doesn't mind it at all, but I have printed on some that stuck to the plate, and that was very frustrating. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm sorry um, about your back. <laughs> Be careful with your desk so you don't hurt your back. Because uh, back, back pain is not fun. It is not fun. Okay. Well, I really like that. That turned out really pretty. Um, so let's do some just for kicks. I don't think I've ever put copper and yellow together. Let's just see what happens. It'll be interesting. Oh, go to the store. I don't blame you. I don't like grocery shopping either, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. That's part of what I was doing yesterday afternoon. Went to the grocery store and um, took Hannah. She wanted to go and look for some clothes. So we went to um, a couple of thrift stores and she found some stuff she really liked. So she was very happy. And I was happy that we could get her. I think she got three skirts and two blouses and a waistcoat for um, $14. So that was a pretty good plan. Okay. Bye-bye. Go do some more planting. Don't do so much that you're too tired to have fun on your trip, Tanya. All right. I'm going to... Oh. Well, I got a kind of a mess over there. Let's add some blue. And um, I think I'm going to do a little copper. And a little bit of yellow. Already too tired, yeah. Well, maybe if you get this stuff done in the next few days, then you can relax a few days before you actually leave. That would be good. Okay. Well, that turned out pretty cute. Let's turn this around so I can use that part. Because I'm, I'm liking these too. They'll be good to jelly print on. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's do some stuff with some gold. Let's use gold and... The blue and some purple. Hi, Lisa. Well, get out your jelly plate. Every time I watch somebody use a jelly plate, it makes me want to do it. So I absolutely understand. And I'm not usually where I can. But um, if you're where you can, just go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the hop, the Mary's second Friday or whatever it is. I can't I don't know what the name of the hop is, but it's a Friday art hop thing is tomorrow. I'm I'm excited to watch. That'll be fun. Okay, let's do some copper. I'm not copper, gold. I say copper cuz I always want to do copper. And some green. How about that? That'll be pretty. Let's do a couple of greens. <laughs> I like that, Andrea. I held off buying for a long one for a long time because I knew I would paint reams of paper. That's true. But you can paint over stuff that you printed off and you don't like you don't need what you printed anymore. You know, we all print off things that or at least I I did a ton of that when I home when the kids were younger, when we were homeschooling and I 
I was always printing off all kinds of things. And I still have some of that stuff um, in my stash to jelly print on. <laughs> Not too long ago, I jelly printed on a, a, a instructions for making a volcano. So you can jelly print on the old papers. Then you have papers everywhere. Yes, that's right. It's just like potato chips. That's right, Deanie. It's just like potato chips. Okay. I did some blue and some purple. Let's do some gold and some pink. And some yellow. Let's see what that does. I don't know if we're going to see much of the gold um, in this one. That pink kind of took over. Ooh, okay. I like that. Stick it up there with our backgrounds. <laughs> Got it on there crooked. That looks good. I gotta do some more right there. So let's see. Let's do, since we're doing darker colors on that side, which, oops, that's a little more purple than I intended to use. Let's just do the, um, the gold and the purple. Well, thank you, Andrea. I like trying out new color combinations. It's fun. You never know what's going to happen until you try it. Ooh, that turned out pretty, especially right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, the... Um, yeah, I think she's... Meaning to add stuff in when whatever she's mailing out isn't um, enough to fill up the box. At least that's the way I took it. Okay, I've got, let's see, I've just got two more pieces here. We'll do those two and then we'll go back and play on top of what we've already done. So, um, here's a dark color. This one's called Rich Espresso. Let's add that with some stuff. It's kind of a bronze gold. There we go. I didn't realize how many of these pages have corners that are bent, folded, till I start trying to do this. I'm wanting to straighten them all out. Oh, that looks pretty. OK. 
Okay, so let's use some more of that color. And let's do some of the yellow. And some, do I have a darker blue? Oh, I know I do. It's not darker. Here we go. Okay. This is a little bit of a greenish blue, but I really like it. So we'll mix it with this espresso metallic and Okay, that one looks pretty too, but I missed some spot right there, so let's see if we can pick up. Okay, we'll have to put something else on there later. Okay, let's do some of this blue and a little bit of this bright pink. I don't know how that's going to work because this is a greenish blue, but we're going to try it along with some of this espresso. Now I've probably got too much paint on there. That looks like more paint than I've been putting on. Maybe it'll give us some leftovers. I don't know. It's been really pulling off the plate pretty clean. Okay. Metallics jazz things up. Yes, they do. I don't think I've ever worked with Lemire paints. Um, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. So let's, um, let's see if we can pick up some of that over here. Let's try a little bit again. Okay, I think I'm going to let that be happy. And we need to do something right here. Okay, let's see. Well, we're working with this espresso, so let's use that. And let's use some lighter purple. And then a little bit of this light color here. It's thicker, so it wants to suck right back up in there when you try to not get too much. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do like this. And I'm going to put this over here. Lemire paints are shiny. They only come in small bottles. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed a little bitty spot right there. <laughs> well, we're not going to worry about it because I probably won't use the tiny bit of the edge anyway. But it is frustrating. Well, look at there. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I'll grab that on the next one. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, good grief. So can we get too much? Yes, we can.
And I know this is a no-no, but I'm just going to pull some of it up because I don't want that much. That's why. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of this because I'm just going to do the edge of that paper because that's bugging me. some there we go we added some around it so it's it's good now now we'll just pick up the rest of it on here Okay, that's kind of weird looking. It shows where I pulled up everything else. <laughs> oh, well, it's a background. It's a background. That's what it is. Um, that one just comes out a lot at a time. I have some of the color shifts too. And I don't use those as often as I do the metallics. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down here. Hi, Candy. I'm glad you're here. That's good. And let's see. I'm going to let that dry a minute. And then we're going to add something on top of it. Behind it or whatever. However you want to say that. You're back. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're back, Becky. I hope I didn't mess up your um, streaming thing. That would bother me if I did. I didn't mean to. Okay, good. looks pretty good we need one more one more something to go with that page um let's do a let's do a purple and we're gonna do this is a it says it's rose it's metallic i thought maybe it was that um crimson that looks pink but it's really red i mean it looks pink but says it's red um but that's that one's not metallic i don't think so Yeah, I only get them on sale, too. In fact, I have, the only ones I've ever gotten, I got it Tuesday morning <laughs> of the Martha Stewart's. I've only had a couple, this one and a yellow one, and I like them. Well, I went too far down, see? That's not good. 
that's not what I wanted. But it'll be fun because we'll just stick this on the other end of it. And um, we'll be all right with that. Okay, we're going to roll over this one. So now we've got a, another background sheet. And I'm going to pull up right there. And there. Why not? Just go ahead. Okay, there's that one. Now I've got all my papers with backgrounds on them. Let's see if we can pull them out from the bottom. And, um, so the, the ones that are ready to work on. Okay. All right. So we got lots of pretty colorful papers here. Um, and those last two I'm going to leave up there because they're they're kind of messed up. I mean, they're kind of wet still. Messed up. They're not messed up. They're just wet. Oh. Okay. Well, go to your meeting and enjoy it. Okay. I need to get a different wipe off paper. Just a second. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna need some wipe off paper as well as I can use some of these I've already done as stamp off papers, but I need I need some wipe off papers. Well, these should be fun. Let's do these as wipe off papers. some maps out of that same dictionary. Come on. Okay. Oh, I am a member. I just um, am not getting notifications as often from them as I used to. I don't know. You know, um, Facebook decides what it wants you to see sometimes. And I'm going to pull out a bunch of these and I'll show them to you before we start working with them. But. not going to use a snowflake because that's I'm probably not going to use these either right now they're just a circle and a square but I got stuff behind them so a little circle I'll be getting to the end of these soon. Oh, there's one I want to use. There's this. Yeah, I'm not going to get the snowflake out. We'll put these back up and the letters back up. 
Well, I might use that little dot. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You've never had a dictionary with maps in it. Well, let me show you something. You got to get these huge old ones. Look how big that is. <laughs> it's humongous. It has maps in the back. I have had smaller ones with maps in the back, but anyway. <laughs> oh, well, be safe going to the post office. Okay. Now then, I've got a bunch of different things here. Um, they're all a whole bunch of different things. I got these at um, a thrift store. And I can't remember what I paid for the... I paid like $4 for the whole bag or something. Um, I can't remember exactly. some leaves there are a couple more leaves i don't know where those are they didn't come out of the bag that's okay anyway and a whole bunch of these that are like exclamation points or something i don't know or maybe they're leaf petals hmm that's interesting maybe they are because they go all right let's play with that a minute just for fun hi janet I'm glad you're here. Oh, I bet they were inside some of these. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to play with this this circle. And um, see. Yeah, there's four of these and they're different. They're different sizes and shapes, I think. So let's see. Yeah, they're all a little bit different. Okay. So we're going to stamp them off onto this. And we're going to print them off onto this. Okay. So if I'm going to print on the copper, I need to decide. Oh, let's do something bright. Let's do this pink. The metallics don't do this quite as well as other things. Um, so we'll just do this. We'll see how it works. This might be the time you take to, you know, to stamp all these things on there might be the, the thing that becomes a problem when you're trying to take them off on, um, on this, this kind of paper. But anyway, let's see. Okay. Whoa. Got my thumb that time. This this will probably be one that we'll have to take um when it dry, you know, add another color when it dries because it's already getting kind of dry. Probably should have put these next to each other, but I didn't. Oh, see, it's already dry. <laughs> well, that didn't work out very well. We won't be doing that again. <laughs> oh, how funny. Okay, so now we know. These are kind of useless. Um, unless you just want that weird little shape. So let's put on another color. 
and um, then we'll try to pull off some different flowers. Okay. All right, let's see if this will pull it up. It may I may have played with it a little too long. You can do the white over the top if you want, but you don't have to. You can use any color. See, I used um, I used the purple instead of white. So and that turned out pretty good. So let's do another one. Um, and you want because I'm doing it on top of a background, I want some of it to be empty. So when I put whatever I'm putting over it to pull it off, uh, I want to, I would still want to stamp some stuff onto that too. That's what I'm thinking is going to work the best. So, um, and I was going to stamp things off onto here and then I didn't do it because I was using purple. So let's use, um, whoops. Let's use some yellow and some of this pink and mix them together. That should be pretty. If I had put a little bit more paint on there, I think I might have been better off... Um, Okay, so here's what what I pulled off, and then um, let's just go ahead and stamp off a little bit more. Okay, let's see if we can get this to pull it up. Um, I don't think it's. A, I don't think this could cut a cookie. It's just, they're just foam shapes. I, I just got them at the thrift store. I don't know. they If they were used as stamps, they were never used. I mean, if they're supposed to be stamps. That, so I don't know what they were originally. But I don't think they could cut a cookie. Okay, so there's that. And then here's where I print stamped those off. So I'm going to keep on stamping off on that one. And I'm going to call this one good for the moment. And we're going to print off on this one next. Oh, bye, Andrea. Thanks for coming. Oh, okay. No, these are just foam all the way through. That's a cool thing, though. Hmm, I didn't know about those. But I bet they would work great. Okay, let's do some light pink and yellow for this one. And maybe um, let's add a, a, just a touch of this darker pink too. Okay. Okay. 
And so let's let's use this flower. Okay, when you've got too much paint, this is what happens. It doesn't do the whole thing. Oh, and I messed that one up by touching it with the edge of the paper. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see the green through this at all or not, but okay, you can barely see some green through it enough to um, to see the flowers. So that's pretty. It looks good. I like it. And I'm going to just leave that there, and we're going to add something on top of it. And then we'll print on the other side of that paper. This is kind of what it's looking like now. Um, so let's see. What do we want to do next? Let's do some turquoise. Whoops. Okay. Too much turquoise. <laughs> okay. Do some pink. And I'm going to bray some of this off probably because it's too, too much of it. That turquoise, I keep forgetting that it comes out really fast because it, the others are not doing that. So, all right, let's. And let's use this one. We're just going to put a bunch of them on here because why not? Okay. that looks good I like that okay that's fun so we got two now and then this one I think I'm gonna stop there for now I may come back with something that's not flowers later I don't know um thank you Melissa thank you Teresa Sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, let's see, we got some hearts that might be fun to do. 
some hearts. Let's do hearts on this paper. And um, let's turn that over. And we'll print off. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to see what all is down here. Okay, we're just going to print off on this one. That one works fine. I mean, stamp off on this. Print off on that. Hi, Journey. I'm glad to see you. So, let's do... Um, let's go ahead and do some of this bright pink and um, let's use the yellow because that combination looks good. Okay, let's do I think I'm just going to do hearts on this one the big hearts and then we'll do the smaller hearts on another one I'm glad you're here. Hi, Kathy D. I'm glad you're here. That looks cool. So we'll do we'll do these hearts next. Or maybe a couple of these and then a bunch of the little ones. Maybe that's what we'll do next. Okay, so um, let's do purple and pink next. This one on here. Well, that didn't work out so well. Let's try it again. It was half on and half off the paper. So let's just do... Okay. Just listen and sew, Kathy. That's fine. Oh, that looks pretty too, doesn't it? Very fun. Very fun. And here's 
some hearts all over. So let's see. I think I'm going to print off on this one next and we'll stamp off on this one because they're both light. So I need dark colors for them. These are not making as pretty roll off papers as the dictionary papers did. I mean, the regular dictionary papers did. So now we know they're maybe not as desirable for this. Maybe they need to go in a junk journal or something. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use them because they're here. <laughs> so thank you, Journey. Okay, so let's use... Mm. I don't know. Here's another blue. Let's try some of that. I don't, I'm trying to use up these paints instead of getting out my Dollar Tree paints because um, they're all newer than all of these. But, um, So far, I'm not, um, um, my blues, I think the dollar, dollar tree blues I have are much prettier than the blues I have in the craft paints or the regular craft paints. Okay. Those are getting warped because I'm mashing them too much. Sorry. We're just going to do a whole bunch of these because I'm not liking it as much as I did the other ones. So. I'm hoping I'll like it better if it's really covered up in the print. I don't know. We will see. We will see. All right. The bad penny has returned. Well, we're glad you've returned. I've done a couple of pretty things I want to show you because what I'm doing right now is not as pretty. <laughs> that one and this one. And this one. Here's some stamp off paper. And some stamp off paper. Okay, now I'm, this is probably going to stick because I did that. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. There's that one. Yeah, not so liking it so much. Okay. We've stamped it off here, and we're going to just cover this up. I mean, we're going to stamp other stuff on top of it. But I'm trying to decide what I want to use. Um, maybe these. Yeah, I think that one. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Tanya. Hi, Beth. I'm glad you're here. Oh, yummy. Go cook, Angie. Thanks for coming. Okay, let's do... Let's just do the... Some... Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's do turquoise.
and add some a little bit of copper to it. Maybe that'd be now. There's copper on this. Well, that might no, no, no. Let's um. That wasn't turquoise anyway. That was just blue. Let's add some turquoise to that blue. See, there it went. Too much color. That's all right. We're getting pretty good at taking it off. Okay. Now, if I could do this without squeezing it, which is one reason I didn't like the other. Decided since I did the other one everywhere, since this is going to be on the same paper, I'm going to do it everywhere too. It um, probably wouldn't have to be because I'll probably end up using them different separately. But that's what I decided, so that's what I'm doing. I see. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Debbie. I'm glad you're here. Friendship cakes. Cool. I used to make something called friendship bread. Is it the same thing? With a starter and all of that? And then you pass the starter on to your friends and... Okay. I don't know. Not as excited about those as the bigger ones. That one's kind of fun, though. Okay. All righty. Okay, I'm going to print off on this and stamp off on this. And um, I'm going to use this big flower that I've never used. And maybe that one. Oh, with fruit in a cake mix. Hmm, for, wow, I've never heard of that one. Sounds interesting. Okay, I think I want to do both of these with just with copper and see how that works out. Let's try it. I don't know. Let's 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that one right over the top of those. Might be a good idea, might be a bad idea. We will see. Yeah, I'll post in the group. That'd be good. Okay. I like that there's still the background's still easy to see back there, but there's um but it's got the copper on top. So we're gonna go ahead and do the um this one that way as well. Thank you, Janet. off very good the first time. All right, let's see how this one works out. <clears throat> Here's that one, and here's this one. I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. And let's see. Oh, there's the medium size heart I missed. Hmm. Where did the little one go? Here it is. I like these long skinny ones. Um, trying to decide what I want to do next. Oh, and here's another one. See, so I got two of these and two of these. And I used one of these and one of these. And I didn't use these two. So maybe I'll use these two next. They were hiding. That's what happens when there's too many. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to stamp off on this one and um, ink print off on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. So what colors do we want to do? on these. All right. Let's do the bright pink. <clears throat> yeah, let's just do the bright pink by itself because we've got other stuff that'll be coming from underneath it. Let's see. 
got pieces of hearts on, stamped off on this page, which looks kind of funny. All right. That looks good. And now I want to do the little one. But I want to do a different color with it. Well, maybe we'll do this light pink. And mix it with bit of copper and a little bit of this I don't know we may wish we hadn't done that then Okay. This doesn't look like it's going all the way down to the um to the plate, so it may not turn out as good. Let's see if we can pick up some more paint. Oops. You know what that means? <laughs> that means that it's getting dry and I'm pulling it up the dry paint, which means that I can't print it off like I was planning on. See, I wasn't thinking about, I wasn't thinking this through all the way. So we'll just have to put something behind it. It'll be all right. We'll let it dry and put something behind it. Well, maybe we'll put copper behind it. It will be all right if it doesn't show what's on the paper because this is what's on the paper. It's fine. It's just nothing special. So here's the stamped off one. Okay. <clears throat> Oh dear. I don't know how this one's going to work. None of them are special till you make them that way. <laughs> that is true. Oops. Well, there's what that one looks like. I don't know if you can. There we go. That's better look. I better look at it. Hi, Nettie. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. We've got two pages left. And I'm going to print off on this one and stamp off on this one. 
I'm glad you like them all, Melissa. But what do we want to use? Um, let's find something we haven't used yet. We haven't used this one yet. Or this one. Or the stars. Not really in a star type mood. Not really in a star type mood. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to put green on here. No. No, that needs to be last. I think. Because we want the flowers in the front. I am not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's do yellow. Let's do this flower. Okay. We're going to let that dry. And then we're going to do maybe some of these little flowers behind it. And then some leaves behind that. Did you stamp first on their jelly prints? I stamp off of this onto this. And then I'm going to let this dry and put another color on and stamp this off onto this. And then I'm going to let that dry and put another color on and stamp leaves off. Hopefully. And then I will pull it up the whole thing up with this if it can pull up that many layers i don't know i don't know if it'll work or not but we're going to try it let's go ahead and stamp off one more flower here because that's sticky okay all right, now then I'm going to put Oh, okay. That's all right, Teresa. I'm going to put some pink on. And actually, hmm, I'm not sure that'll work. Let's stamp off. I know these are, the leaves are, um, 
but I want to put the green behind them, behind the leaves. So what I stamp off will be pink, but hopefully what you see will be green. Almost looks like lips since I'm stamping it off in pink. Okay, we're going to let this dry. And then... Um, And then we're going to add, oh, and I didn't put any of my lippy <laughs> leaves on that side. So, oh, well, that's all right. It is what it is. Okay. Got to let this dry. The more layers you put on, the longer it takes it to dry. The more chance there is of it not all picking up. But we're going to hope. But we won't know if we don't try, so. Might as well just keep going. Looks a lot like lippy leaves, yep. <laughs> Look at my hands. <laughs> Trying to learn how to make cheese chips. Ah. What kind of cheese are you using? Parmesan works well. Any kind of grated cheese works well. Um, and I've done some with little thin slices of cheeses, but the grated cheese works the best. We've done it in the oven and in the microwave. Well, we just plop down little piles of cheese, not too high, all over the parchment paper and stick it in the oven. Um, and let them cook to their bubbling. I like to, the um, Parmesan cheese doesn't, um, is drier. It doesn't play well with the, um, with like Kobe Jack or something. So don't mix those together and it'll probably turn out fine. Yeah, just don't mix them together. Do each one separately and just try them out and see which one you like the best. And they all will cook, take different times to cook. Um, We like the what they call Fiesta Blend, which is probably the three cheese you're talking about in Parmesan. Those were our favorites. Okay. That's what we got. They look a little bit more like leaves on this one. <laughs> that worked well. Okay. So let's do some of these flowers and make centers with this. And then put some leaves on them and pull them. 
Let's see. Where did my leaf go? Um, where did my leaf go? I need you. Oh, here it is. Right there. Okay. I was getting worried. Oh, actually, we're going to put these down first. Mm. Okay, we're going to have to do this a different way, I think, to do what I'm wanting to do. So we're going to use this as our palette. And I'm going to put... Okay, I'm going to let those sit. And dry. And these will take a little longer to dry. Uh, no, Journey, I do the uh, fourth Saturday video hop and the fourth Sunday live hop. But I don't do the second Friday live hop. That would just be too many. <laughs> That would be too many. And the only time she had opened when, when she asked me was early in the morning on Friday. And, and I do my grocery shopping on Friday. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I could just hop, hop, hop. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, come on. Hubby is home. Give him a hug for me, Tanya. Tanya's going to be on at 7 tomorrow. She's hop hopping. I hope I'm asleep then, Tanya. But I'll definitely watch the replay. I always watch the replays. No way, he's nasty. <laughs> okay, make him shower first. <laughs> make him shower first. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put some of this dark pink with this on top of those. My hope is that we will end up with um, layered looking flowers. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay. We're going to let those dry. We do need to wipe a little off the edges. Oh. <laughs> Why are you not on your show? 
Oh, he's a good man. But yeah, you had you had a lot to do. The show has to come second. Let's let it dry. This is a little goopier, so it doesn't dry as fast. Yeah, it's going to take a while to dry. I wasn't thinking about that when I decided to do it. Sorry, I have to check something real quick. Okay. Let's see if we can dab off a little bit of this. Maybe it'll dry faster. Okay, that should help it dry faster. I need to turn off my air, my heater. Good grief. It was cold in here this morning, so I turned it up, and I was wondering, why am I getting hot? <laughs> okay, now then the leaves. And I'm going to use this green. For the leaves. Okay. Now we have to let this dry. Hi, Suzanne. I'm glad you're here. We'll let this dry, and then we'll put a, a background on it, and we'll see what happens. See if it was worth all this waiting or not. Doing it this way is pretty easy. 
but you can't layer the flowers as easy that way. And I wanted to see if we could layer the flowers. When it gets mostly dry, I'll dab off the little bits that are left like I did on the flowers, and maybe that'll help it dry faster. <coughs> okay. Okay, sorry. <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing and sneezing. They mowed the yard next door yesterday, so they just mowed up dirt and weeds, and I've been coughing even worse than normal ever since. Mm. I thought I... um. I missed that one. Okay. I thought I was doing better, and then it <clears throat> it wasn't better. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. I'm going to put... What for the background... I think I'm going to use this blue. Let's see if I got enough on here to do this or not. Well, maybe not quite. Let's add just a touch, touch more. Uh oh, it's pulling stuff up. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. We're gonna have to stop, and it'll just pull, do what it does, wh whatever that is. Oh, thank you, Nettie. Well, there's what it looks like. There's a bunch of stuff still left on the plate. So I would say no, it's not worth the time it took to do that. So now we know. <laughs> now we know. Um, well, I thought I was going to pull that up off on, on something. Oh, here we go. I don't know if it'll pull it up or not, but 
Thanks, Beth. It, it pulled up a lot of it. It pulled up a lot of it. Well, my back is tired. And it's telling me I need to stop. Let me set this aside. And um, I'll show you. I'll show you what we've done. one's really rolling. It's funny how some of them really curl up and some of them don't. Okay, so we got this one. And this one with the leafy lips or lippy leaves or whatever. Bye, Tanya. Hugs to you too. Some hearts. There's just enough stuff on these to make you want to doodle on them some, I think. That first one was your favorite? I think that one might be my favorite. I don't know why. I think it's probably the only one that turned out the way I expected it to. No, this one's my favorite right here. This one's my favorite. These two. These two are my favorites. That's it. But we played with quite a few pieces of dictionary paper. And uh, next Thursday, we'll do something else with dictionary paper. So, not sure what, but something. Hi, Melissa. I'm glad you popped in and let us know you're here. Unfortunately, uh, we're fixing to go. So, um, <laughs> thanks, Teresa. I had a lot of fun, and I'm glad y'all all came to play. Have a good evening, and I will see you uh, at, probably at Beth's tonight. Bye-bye. Oh, hi, Nancy. Thank you. Yeah, I think they'll be fun for doodling. I agree. In an hour, Beth says, so it won't be long. Hi, Kathleen. I'm glad you popped in. I'm sorry you popped in just as we were leaving. But anyway, <laughs> oh, I love you all. Bye-bye.